so the second session of this constraint includes wage constraint sometimes this is also known as a rigid constraint a rigid constraint this is very small session to be dealt on generally in the current current syllabi these things are uh, rarely asked but you will find the application of uh, this rigid constraint in different chapters especially in rotation or in center of mass chapter now wage constant what is wage as i already written here this is a rigid system means there is a small difference between the string which we studied constraint which we studied that is string constraint is related with the string concept and this rigid constraint is related with the two bodies two rigid bodies are in contact if the two rigid body are in contact are moving for example i am just taking one example this one is m1 block and again in parallel there is kept one block m2 now this block is i am pushing this m1 with v1 velocity so this is obvious that if the system is moving it means if m1 is moving so this m2 will also be moving so what will be the impact of this velocity v1 on this v2 why because we have applied the force in this m1 block but this m1 block cannot move unless this m2 block is moving so what will be the relation between the velocities of this m1 and m2 in contact now very simple i am taking i am explaining all this with one single example and this example is will demonstrate all the facts and relations to identify the relation between the two bodies two rigid bodies in contact this is one block m1 and this one is this one is block m2 this one is m1 and this one is this is two rigid body i am taking some angle theta here you you see here that the body if i am suppose if this body is moving in v1 with v1 velocity in this direction so if this is moving with v, v1 velocity it will also be moving and it will have the velocity component in some direction so if moving this is moving in this direction it means this will be moving in this direction now we need to find the relation between the velocities of this block m1 and very simple very important very important concept which i am going to tell you that this velocity will have different components this velocity will have some components what is more important to get in contact with the relation is that if the two bodies are in contact remember this i am slow if the two bodies are in contact what is more important the, you draw you identify the point of contact this is the point of contact this is the point of contact now very simple what you have to take the, all the components of the velocity of the block of mass m1 and m2 again i am repeating the velocity components of block of mass m1 and m2 perpendicular to the common tangent perpendicular to the common tangent will remain same perpendicular to the common tangent will remain same again i am repeating in a fresh word that whatever the velocities of the different blocks what is more important in wage constraint is to first identify the common tangent of the point of contact so this is the point of contact so common tangent will be in this direction now once identifying the common tangent find the common normal and if i am identifying this is the common normal this is the normal normal is always perpendicular to the tangent section what is more important that you take all the components of the velocities of different blocks along the direction of the normal and that value will be same for both the blocks that is suppose this point since this is moving with velocity v2 it means this is coming in v2 direction and this one is coming in v1 direction so if this one is theta this one is 90 minus theta so this one is theta and this one is 90 minus theta so what i said you take the component of this velocity along the normal direction and the velocity of this block along this direction will have the same value that is v1 cos 90 minus theta equal to v2 this angle is theta so v2 cos theta so we are getting the relation as v1 sin theta equal to v2 cos theta or we can write as v2 equal to v1 tan Theta. This is the relation for any block system. Now I am taking the first example. First example is this is one block, and this one is another block attached to this. 
this one is m1 this one is m2 and you are putting this velocity as a 2 meter per second it means what will be the velocity of this so for this we need to find out the common tangent so this is the common tangent and this is common perpendicular so the component is along the direction this velocity component is along the direction of the normal hence the velocity of m2 will also be the same value as 2 meter per second so i hope you understand the wage constant this is the beginning in advanced level i will be sharing some questions but still this is sufficient for dealing the fundamental concepts related to the rigid body